Okay, so what I want to do before we uh, bring in cameras or anything, we're going to actually now bring in some special effects. If you remember when we created the project, we started with starter content. So we'll click on that folder under particles, and you're going to see a few special effects. So I just recommend you drop in what you think. So a little bit of fire, a little bit of smoke, and press the Alt key. So on this, press the Alt key and have the W set, and you can drop a couple extra, make it look like there's something going on in the scene here, maybe over here, and maybe a little bit of smoke uh, over here. And what you want to do to be able to see how it looks, you're going to have to press play. So let's do that. So pretty happy with that. Gives you a, a good effect. There's a few other effects in here. You could always go to the marketplace like we did when we brought in the trees to go get even more. So I'll leave that up to you. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to bring in a sky atmosphere. So type in sky and sky atmosphere and just drag it into your level. And uh, this is going to make it because I find the light is just too white. And uh, there's this really cool feature here in sky atmosphere, which you can kind of like see now the light looks just so much real, so much more real. So if you look around, it has a kind of, the way the light dissipates in the scene is, is really cool. And I really like that. So we're definitely leaving that in there. Another cool feature in the uh, sky atmosphere is uh, under art direction, you have the aerial perspective uh, tab. So I'll just uh, alt tab and you can see a little bit. So our sky is kind of plain looking. So by uh, in playing around with this it really just changes the whole atmosphere and makes it so much richer and you could even change the, uh, the color a little bit if you wanted through here um, and let's just see the fall so I'm really happy with this right now so um, if you look and we turn it around you just if you take different photos from different angles you're gonna just get this really cool uh, effect okay so I would leave that in there for sure another important uh, key hotkey that you can use is the G key to hide all these kind of objects that are showing up so I'm just gonna press the G key when I you gotta select a viewport for it to work and then if I move around I can kind of see uh, what's happening here and I'm kind of happy with that so that's really useful. So the G as in uh, George. So turn that on and off so you don't see all these things. Okay.